Good morning, or afternoon, I suppose. <laughs> How's it going? Happy Friday. Not usually on a Friday. Trying something new. I unfortunately could not get everything set up in the other room to do a gaming stream today, which makes me sad. I started setting up this morning because Tricky got home late, and it's a lot work than I thought it would be. <laughs> so... I had to set up all the scenes and all the sources still. I thought it would kind of just like take what I had and put it over there for some reason, but it does not. So I have to reset everything back up and that will take me a little while. I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but you know, I'll figure it out. Plus Tricky's working from home today and his meetings and things, so. Probably best I'm not in there, you know, messing with stuff and making noise. But maybe next time. I'll try again. I'll get everything set up so that when I want to do it, it is available to do. But in the meantime, painting. Oh, and I also, to try and counteract the weird crookedness of my camera, I like rolled up a ball of tissue and stuck it under one of the footies <laughs> to lift it up and now I'm sneezy Ugh. so hopefully I'm not too crooked <laughs> if it's still awful let me know and I'll shove something else underneath it I can't I can't fix the <laughs> the tilt but it's okay Hey, at least I haven't had to like adjust the the camera lighting in a while. I used to have to do that every time I turned it on. It'd be way too dark. That seems to be more chill now, which is nice. Is it just me or does it seem I think maybe before I had it more zoomed in or something. Yeah, you're looking at the door a lot. Let's see. Maybe that's better. <laughs> Less door, more me. I suppose. Hi, Nimbus. You gonna hang out? Maybe we'll have a kitty friend today, too. drawing first. Okay, which one's which? This is my cold. And the hot. I feel like the one inch above works just fine. Skinny windows. is going to go sit down. Look the little cutie he is. You going to lay down Nimbus and hang out today? Like I'm thinking about it. If I can find a good spot, Mom. Did you find a good spot? You got a kitty loaf on the bed. So cute. It just is real skinny. 
That just made you look really crooked. That's so great. How does that happen? Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Okay. Try that again. Little boy, you're so cute. Blessed with the presence of the Nimbus. thinking rounded so let's see this is rounded nope that was really bad goodness gracious I haven't used my sparkles in a while I should do that grossness all over everything. Ugh. Nope, grossness forever stuck in the paper. No, why? Do this to myself. Yep, grossness stuck on the paper. template for this. It's like, like geometry to figure out how to draw a perfect circle and such. You know, there's a, like math involved, I'm sure, that I should be doing. <laughs> big enough.
who's there? Well, hello. Happy Friday. How's it going? I never remember how to say your name. God Lugsy? <laughs> gonna paint some windows today. Just little cute things. I'm just drawing them out first. I hope your Friday is going well. Almost time for that weekend. We have one sleepy kitty so far. I'm hoping we get more sleepy kitties hanging out today. Right. Beans, you're a sleepy kitty. <laughs> Sorry, you were a sleepy bean. Mm, okay, let's see. Let's do some math, shall we? Get the calculator out. I don't feel like guessing. So it's like probably here ish. I feel like that's not right. But I guess it could be. Yeah, I guess that's right. Okay. Sorry, it must have Frosty. <laughs> it must have been Frosty who typed that. <laughs> How's Frosty doing? As adorable as ever? I can only assume. Hey, Land Shark. Was everyone doing this fine Friday? Okay, I think that looks good. I think that's good enough for one window. Next window. Okay, so this one has like a rounded top and a weird little like stony bottom section. Maybe this one should be square with like a window box? That'd be cute, yeah? Doing my lurking work. <laughs> oh, thanks for lurking, Beans. Let's take you a break from some work. How's your day going? It's okay so far. I was gonna try and set up a gaming stream on my other computer, but I just downloaded Stream Elements um, and OBS this morning, and I forgot how much work it is to set up all your sources and everything, and I'm like, okay, I don't have time for this. <laughs> so I'm gonna, when this is done, I'm gonna go over there and like, try and get it all <laughs> set up. So then when I want to try and do any kind of gaming, it's ready. <laughs> it takes a lot longer than I remembered. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think this one should be a bit wider. Maybe wider. I'll do like... Seems so close to the edge, but I hope it'll be okay. Just learned how to double computer laptop setup for streaming. Oh, that's cool. 
I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> the games you've been playing lately. So I'm always playing Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> That's like my favorite thing to just get on and play. Um, I also like to get on and play, this is going to be weird, Kingdoms of Amalar. It's very old. And I have been playing this one playthrough for like probably, oh gosh, like 13 years. <laughs> Because I just, when I don't know what to play, I'll pop on and I'll play that for like an hour. <laughs> but then I've also been playing Hogwarts. So it just depends on my mood. How about you guys? Want to handle games, want to handle just OBS streaming so the weight is split and not so heavy on the one main laptop. That makes sense. I think a lot of people do that. But yeah, I, would, I have no idea how you do that. How do you get the computers to talk to each other? It's magic. <laughs> How does one know what the other is doing? What sorcery is this? Oh my gosh, that's so wide. <laughs> Why did I make it so wide? It's fine. It's fine. Just slow the new Zelda. You just finished Dead Island 2. Oh, is that the one that just came out? I think I tried to watch someone play that before and it was just too gory for me. I couldn't do it. I'm like, no, I can't, I can't watch that. I'm sorry. A lot of people have really been enjoying it though. The new Zelda, you know, Chucky was trying to play that and it's just not for us. It's like a weird combination of like Fortnite and Zelda. And to me, it just does not, it's not the kind of game I'm into. I don't want to have to build my weapons and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I'll ever get into that. I think that one's just not for me. But people are loving it, that's for sure. But I think it already lost Tricky's interest too. <laughs> Very gory. Always throw a disclaimer before I switch my scenes. It's a good thing you lurk in my yeah, yeah. I had to do that when Pork was playing it too. I'm like I can't. It's too much for me. Like, and that's weird considering I like scary movies and stuff, but I don't like gore. Like that gore for gore's sake is just can't do it. Can't do it. But that's alright. This is the boring part. I feel like this is the part that I should do before stream, but I mean, it's all part of the art, right? So, eh. Oh, and of course it's not perfect. Okay, so we'll go here and here. Your tunes, you like my fantasy playlist? Thank you. Like the original one I ever made. <laughs> yeah, I've been switching playlists up a lot lately. Depending on my mood. Oh, but I have news. I have an interview on Thursday. I have mixed feelings about it, <laughs> but overall it's probably a good thing. <laughs> I'm not exactly qualified, so I'm a little confused as to why they called me. Like I have experience doing the job, but a lot of this stuff in this job description is like things that my boss would do, you know? I'm like, I mean, I could do it if someone teaches me how to do it, but I don't know, like, how much training they're offering. 
you know? Like, so it's a accounts receivable position, and one of the things on the description is like month end closing or like doing month end closing. And in the jobs I've done before, that's the finance manager's job. Whereas like I'd No, this isn't a learn on the job. <laughs> this isn't a, I figure it out. This is someone teaches me how to do this. You don't wanna mess up accounting. Like, nah, this is not happening. But like, so for month end close stuff, I would make sure all my work was done and give my boss any reports she needed. But like, I've never, I don't know what she did with them. <laughs> you know, so like being the one in charge of doing whatever it was she was doing, I was like, I, I'm sure I could do it. I just don't know what it is, <laughs> you know? So we'll see. If they're willing to train, that's fine, you know? But I'm not going to lie and say I know how to do it, you know? Then we come month and they're like, okay, where's our old closing stuff? I'm like, I don't actually know how to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That'd be so awful. Confident you'll pick it up, no issues. Yeah, like, like I said, as long as they're willing to train someone and how to do what it is they want done, then that's fine. So we'll see. But I'm so weary. The past two jobs I've had in Texas have just been horrifically toxic workplaces. Like, I worked for one company for eight years in Washington, and it was not toxic. Like, it was fine, and I had great bosses and things. And then these last two, since I moved to Texas, have just been horrific. <laughs> so now I'm, like, scared. Like, is this just a Texas thing? Like, does everybody suck here? <laughs> like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm very nervous about getting conned into another toxic workplace. I'm having all the cowboy hats now. I don't think it's the cowboy hat. <laughs> but, like, I can't have another toxic workplace on my resume because I'm not going to stay, you know? And so that'll be, like, another job I leave. And that's not good. But we'll see. So fingers crossed. <laughs> That this place isn't awful. I think red flags I've noticed in the past is my boss is new. That means the whole department practically left. And places that are looking to replace someone who left recently. Because it was like turnover, you know, in the position. Like, okay, what does that mean? Whereas like if they're hiring more people because they're expanding, like, okay, that's understandable or if they're um like someone's leaving and they give plenty of notice and like because one job i had um there was a lady leaving because she was having a baby but she and she knew she wasn't gonna be coming back so we had her for like a whole month to train us and it was great that was in washington so like that's fine so I'm, I'm just, I have certain questions I want to ask <laughs> because I'm so nervous about that. <laughs> have you guys ever worked in a really, really toxic workplace? All of them, no! Oh my gosh. So maybe that's just the norm. Everything sucks and I need to just get over it. <laughs> Learned a lot from them? They just left one. Oh gosh. See, I didn't have anything to learn from mine other than don't be there. <laughs> one of them, um, the HR lady hated me. Like, legit hated me. And I didn't even know it. Like, I'm so oblivious. Like, constantly trying to get me fired. And it was because she didn't like that I was an introvert. And that I didn't go over and talk to her for an hour a day like everybody else. <laughs> don't get over it. Too many people settle for toxic since it pays. Right? Like, I don't... New workplace is nice, though. Oh, that's good, Landshark. Yeah, it's so hard. Like, I don't... 
and I'm kind of naive when it comes to stuff like that. Like, I don't always pick up on people hating me. They're like, I mean, I'm just here, I'm doing my job. It's, what's the big deal? And then it's apparently a big deal. <laughs> to some people, I guess. And then the other one was just... God, it's so many things. This most recent one was awful. But yeah, I'm a little... I'm a little weary. I'm going in and I'm going, please don't be awful, people. Please. Like, I haven't had an interview in so long. It would be nice if it was with a place that wasn't horrific. <laughs> but I have my boring interview outfit ready. <laughs> Just need to probably wash the pants and shirt again. Freshen them up a bit. <laughs> Like, have the interview outfits changed, like, recently? Like, I'm just wearing black pants, some kind of blue shirt under a black jacket -y thing. <laughs> Is that still what interview outfits look like nowadays? Or am I supposed to, like, try and be sexy? <laughs> am I supposed to wear a dress and heels? Last manager hated me because I didn't conform to corporate niceties. Yeah, I was cut through it and straight to the point. Avoid going by the book with certain exceptions. It was very cut and dry and maliciously complied to which, what's written on paper. Oh, interesting. I have mixed feelings about that. I love me some rules. So, like, you have SOPs. Mwah. I love it. But, like, I, I don't know. Like, as long as they're not doing any, anything illegal. Or bad. I don't know. I work. I don't know what field you work in. I worked in banking for so long. Like you don't make weird, just by the hip decisions. Like there's a lot of rules. <laughs> you have audit for a reason. But I get in trouble because I'm too blunt. <laughs> and I don't know how to write an email that sounds pleasant. <laughs> and then people think I'm just rude because I eat by myself at lunchtime. When she was put in power, she lost three of my major clients because she stepped in and put her foot down on a few minor things I let fly to keep clients happy. Ooh. You had ChatGPT down to write emails for you? Oh god. I feel like maybe I should actually. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good idea now that I think about it. Let the AI do it for me. Oh man. I don't know, Beans. I I I, I see both sides, but I, maybe she went around it incorrect like about it incorrectly. Like maybe you guys should have had a like a good chat about like stuff, you know. Sounds like maybe that was a, a communication issue. <laughs> Because I have definitely let banking people just walk away as a personal banker. I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> I'm a stickler for rules. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess it's time to do the painting part of today's stream. <laughs> just maybe. Okay. We did have a chat explain everything and why I would not charge $20 for a client for mistake. One of our workers or myself screwed up shoulder responsibility, but they need to be invoiced for this. Uh, yeah. That's rough. That's rough. Yeah, usually departments and stuff have budgets for like waiving fees and things and stuff especially if it was a company error you know
Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. <laughs> she got 50,000 annual billing over $20. Yeah, like... That's what those those funds and stuff are for, is to be able to do stuff like that. You just want to make sure you're not doing it constantly, or that $20 turns into a couple thousand dollars for each client. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's why people have fee waiver GLs and stuff. Makes sense. There's a bird. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you got unlucky and you were like the twelfth person to ask her to waive a fee that day. sad. I need to get some, like, tape or something. This one's coming loose. Also coming from an HR background, I implore you to use ChatGPT for any and all writing checks? Really? Oh, did I bonk this? I must have bonked this. Yeah, that's always been, like, every single review I've had in my life has been. So... You really blunt, so you need to work on writing like emails that just have like a, a friendlier tone. And I'm like, my emails are just emails. Like, I write what I need, I say thank you, and then we move along. <laughs> it's not like a big mean, it's just, it doesn't have like a sense of the beginning, doing a warm introduction, and it doesn't have a sense of the end, wishing them the best day of their life, you know? So, <laughs> I don't know. It just says that I can't, I can't do it. I started, like, including smiley faces for internal emails. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know what else you people want from me. I started having people next to me read my emails. After reading, writing and reading the response in chat, GPT, you'll eventually pick up the corporate lingo and formality of, you've already not, if you're already not used to it. But, like, I've been in this world for 10 years. <laughs> like, it's just like, but it's just me. But yeah, I mean, like, I get it. Have someone else, have something else write my emails for me. It just seems like such a cheat, but I guess that's life now. Yeah? Just, that's just life now. This is what we do. The AI that's gonna eventually take all the jobs is now writing my emails. <laughs> I mean, that's a smart idea, though. I mean, if everybody else is doing it. It would fix the problem. <laughs> it would definitely fix my problem. next bad review I get when it comes to emails, I'll be like, can you take this up with ChatGPT because they write my emails for me. Thank you. <laughs> taking the jobs that no one wants to do, or at least clean up human mistakes. Also taking admin jobs. And some finance jobs. Just programs in general, not necessarily like AI, but like a lot of the accounting programs and stuff. They don't need half the accounting staff they used to have because you can just have a program do it. So a lot of it's like data entry and gathering and stuff and sending out invoices and stuff. And there's programs that do that now. You don't even have to pay a person. Let's say I just stay home and do my art the entire time, but it's also doing that now. <laughs> oh well, that's life, right? We're all just end up becoming plumbers or something. And garbage people.
I think my uncle was a plumber way back when. I really don't want to climb under people's houses, though. That doesn't sound appealing to me. Still need someone to check the work, but yeah, that's one person. <laughs> Compared to the whole accounting team. <laughs> yeah, plumber. Exactly. I need to learn to, I don't know, work for the AI. <laughs> Maybe it'll hire me one day. I will work for the technology. It will rule all. I really did this backwards and should not have started with the blue. But I was not thinking. So we're here now. <laughs> Work with it, not for it. Oh, beans. I see where you stand with AI. <laughs> oh, beans. I would be willing to. <laughs> but corporations will never hire more people than they have to. Bare minimum or nothing. Oh, little Nimbus Paws, you're so cute. <laughs> you know, I can't paint one over this one. I wanted to paint over it because I put the blue down. I got distracted. I, have, I do have a heat gun, although I would not use a heat gun on paper. That would end very badly. Um, I do have a hair dryer, but I also am not using that. I'm just going to go between the pictures. It works pretty well if I have two going. I found out. It's not too bad. And the, this one dries really quickly. And this one's not too bad as long as I don't go too crazy on the water. I'll make one. I was planning on making one, but I guess I have to now. There, purple. I 
<laughs> Thanks for lurking, Land Shark. Have a great rest of your Friday. Okay. That'll be cute. I hope so, at least. <laughs> Like brown. What are we making today anyway? Little windows with some flowers was the plan. Here, do you want to see the cute? I'll give you the cute for free. So cute! <laughs> yes, the plan is little window scene. <laughs> I know, that's Nimbus. He's so cute. Nimbus, you adorbs. Frog, it's so funny. All right, I think this one will have a brown frame. That little froggy moat, so cute. has the cutest emotes. Look like it. <laughs> so what are you gonna play next now that you're done with your zombie game? What's on the list? I had time I want to actually sit down and build on my own without using just my face. <laughs> Hi-Fi Rush is next, then Hogwarts. What's Hi-Fi Rush? I never heard of that. Almost sounds like it'd be a racing game or something. And Hogwarts is fun. You'll sink a lot, a lot of hours into it, I think. Yeah, especially if you do, like, most of the side quests. A game that rolls around... Oh, music! Cool! Tricky played um, a game kind of like that for a hot second. It was a metal game that looked like Doom, and you had to shoot things to the beat. It was very cool. That's fun.
You fight to the beat and everything is rhythm based. Yeah, it sounds like that. That's cool. That'll be fun. It was free on Game Pass. I tried it out when I had no games to play for a moment while we were waiting for some bigger titles and it was more fun than I expected. Awesome. Surprised you. That's the best. And free? Even better. Okay, here goes nothing. I kind of want a smaller paintbrush, actually. That one's a little big. Maybe like this guy. Going from an 8 to a 1, how about that? Slowly becoming little flowers, little by little. you to be more yellow. Yeah.
Also, if you need help with the game setup with OBS, I can definitely assist you. Oh, thank you, Beans. Yeah, I'll, I'll set up just the little basic stuff on the other computer. And hopefully that part goes well, and then we'll see about the game stuff. Hopefully it's not too complicated. But I will definitely take you up on that if it just gets crazy. And it's a pretty new computer, so hopefully it can do everything fine, you know? I think it can. But we will see, I suppose. We will see. combination. I'm gonna have to add different layers for sure. Okay. We have the start. Give me a bigger brush. Where'd you go? Mm. Okay, you dry, please. I do need a gray. Let's see here. I have a nice gray. I guess we can start with that. Super light. Okay. 
have our base gray. I don't know why that blue like stayed away from the bottom there. That's interesting. No, oh, Nimba's taking a bath. How adorable. Okay, I'm not I'm pretty okay with where these flowers are going. Let's see. Should we try and make like fuzzy curtains on the inside? That might be asking a bit much, we'll see. I kinda wanted to try and make this like a coppery color. Like make this side warm and this side more cool. That could probably work. Let me make a coppery color. Let's see. Definitely has to have some of this in there. Probably like a base of that color. Oh you add like this to it. Kind of orange, does that count? That might count. Like a tad bit of that. A little bit more. That might work. Yeah, that's kind of kind of right, I think. Oof. Would you? Hmm. I do curtains in the windows. And just pulled back maybe? So it stays out of the flowers? And then like what color though? Try and make them that purple color? A little bit to match the flowers? That might be fun. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Alright, are you trying it? Kind of. I really like the yellow underneath it. Alright, here's my makeshift purple. make you kind of pale though because you're supposed to be through the window
Get in there, come on. There. <laughs> They're not exactly even, but you know, that's okay, the curtains. Next window card you do, you should do one painting just as an outside view, and then second panel, quickly cut out the window panes and lay the window on top of scenery 3D effect. So I've done that. Do you remember the 3D ones I did with the windows? Should I go get them? I can go see if I can dig them out. I've done something similar to that. I'll show you. I know this. I see you. It wasn't exactly that, but it was very similar. Okay, I had to find them though. Hang on. My folder full of art. But I did this whole, like, I did two series of like 3D paper cut art. Here we go. There's one. I think this is the other. Yeah, okay. So these are the two that I did. So the first one I did was this one, which actually opens, and the moon, each one of these things, and this is all, they're all separate pieces that I taped together. Like little looking out, <laughs> and then I did this one, which is also looking out. So the curtain, the frame, and then the poppies on the outside are all different pieces. Isn't that funny? <laughs> but yeah, I did these. Because <laughs> I really actually like doing the little windows. Let's see, I've done a lot of them. Mm. Oh, I'm trying to find them all, that was a nightmare. Did that one. That was really cute. Those are bookmarks. Get out of here. Where's the one? So I did a drawing that looks like this one, which was the inspiration for it. It's gonna drive me bonkers. Oh yeah, another 3D one I did. This one has a frame I've cut out separately. Oh, here we go. Here's the painting that inspired one of the cutouts. <laughs> exactly what I pictured. <laughs> oh, and then I drew on the cutout pieces. So these are the pieces that I cut out from that other window thing. And then, where's the... I thought I had one more. Maybe not. I think the new one I haven't put in the folder yet. Yeah, I think it's probably just not in the folder yet. Yeah. Oh, and then I cut this one out. Kind of breaking, though. And I had a background for it to go on top of. <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of like painting, cut paper stuff. The windows I like, they were really fun. Yeah, this is looking outside. So I've been doing a lot the more I'm looking in, you know. I thought that turned out really fun. I like the curtain on it. <laughs> Yeah, I have done one where you're looking in, like a cut at one, like that. I did your hands and ripped those flowers apart trying to get them in that thing. <laughs> I mean, they are breaking on the bottom. But that's all right. I can tape it back together. Yeah, so I've done a lot of windows. 
I don't know why, but I do like them. They're fun to do. But yeah, I could do more cut paper. That'd be fun. I think it'd be really cute to have like a cat, maybe like a cutout cat. <laughs> Looking in, have the tree be like a cutout piece. Yeah, I could do more cutout. I don't think I'd use this paper. I think I'd use um, maybe my cheaper paper, or at least a bigger paper cut into pieces, you know? Because I really like these blocks for the smaller things. <laughs> yeah, the windows are fun. A stained glass one would be fun too. I don't know about cutting that out, but it would be fun. Maybe that's what I should do. I should just do another series of cut paper windows. looking for inspiration of things to do so and that is something I like and I still have an exacto knife I think the most tedious part of those is cutting out the window frame because <gasps> they're so small you know And it takes a lot of measuring and cutting and drawing. So it is like less painting, I guess, but that's all right. I do love me some cut paper art. That is what the thing is behind my head. <laughs> well, that might not be too bad. That's not a good photo? That's not a good photo. Oh, my favorite piece I made is what I posted on the Discord. Oh, okay. But it's got a cut up tint over the frame panel for the laughing and the first thing I have to get the dough. Okay, hang on, let me, let me get in there. 
Oh. Oh, that's cool. I do love me some cut paper art. Nice. It's just like a cool way to add another, like, layer to things, isn't it? That's so cool. I love that. That's so fun. I'm not so good with the depth in the flowers. I'm not sure what to do about it. big enough. Back to our tree. Who needs more blue? to be doing something. <laughs> Turning into cute little scenes, I, I'd say. Okay, so then that's... This is my brown I was using. Oops. 
again. I need to draw the background. I'll wait for these to dry. Then maybe I'll do the... Kind of background on that one. I'm not sure what color it should be. I kind of want just to be gray tones. This one, I wanted it to be warmer. I do like making eh, gold. I guess it could be blue. Like that kind of pretty. That would look really good with the coppery box underneath it. Yeah. That might look good. That might look good. Start making my shadow color. I'm like a dash of this purple. Maybe. Ooh, that got like really purple. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I was gonna say, how did that turn so purple so quickly? Looks like a shadow, I think. Kinda. Okay, I think it's time to draw the, the frame of that window. That part dry a bit. We do it on drying. Not too bad. Alright, let me take a quick break while this is drying. I'll be right back, guys.
back now. Hello, hello. Captions. Okay, captions are good. Okay, sweet. Nimbus, did I wake you up? An angry cat is looking at me like, Mom, how dare you? Hey, where can I work? Shadows are so good. Oh, thank you, Summer. I hope work is going well. Making some progress on our little windows. I feel like I should go around and start taking pictures of people's cute windows. <laughs> and use that for inspiration or something. What do you think, though? I feel like these need to be darker as they go in, not lighter. Oh, I just stuck my hand in something. <sighs> Don't know what it was. <laughs> Alright, I think I can do the coppery color. Or should it be a wooden window box? Oh, that might be really cute, actually. Just make it the wood color to match the frame. I do think that would be awfully adorable, actually. Maybe that's what I'll do. How it will match. And hopefully be adorable. And you can have little horizontal stripes. Your wood, that's fine. Okay. It's started. <sighs> This is dry enough. We'll do the little gray. Get a slightly smaller brush going. I feel like this this brush got green and then never came back. <laughs> gray, what color are you? Brown for some reason. Okay, good. I tested. I don't know why we're brown. 
have a nava color, are we? A little more gray. How about that? That's better. Okay. trouble with freehanding is that it's not going to be perfectly straight but it's okay we'll say it's an old window and it has character so that's how that works yeah <laughs> oh, have you ever given a five minute sketch idea more thought by chance? I give you some inspiration opportunities if you do a ton of mini things as opposed to longer dedication to one thing. <laughs> so, I have been told that I paint too fast <laughs> and that my pieces should be longer and take multiple streams to complete. Um, I have had the suggestion, I don't know if it was you or someone else, who said that it should be a points redeem, like just do a sketch. Which that I might do. Because that's kind of, you know, chat involvement, which is fun. I don't think I'd do an entire stream of just five minute sketches. And it would have to be very interactive. And I don't seem to usually have a lot of people in here. So I might do the uh, points redeem one. Because that could be fun. How many points do you think it should be worth? Because it's not like you get to keep it afterwards or anything, you know? I'm not mailing things to people. <laughs> yeah, and it has little lines. So cute. A super fast sketch kind of person either so like I'm not the type to just kind of like take a pencil and draw something in 10 seconds like super sketchy like but I would I would do something like that for our points your day maybe what should it be should it be 10,000 like the go find a cat so it can't be spammed <laughs> I was her back to the study where it took a hundred art students and split them into half. One half was given one project to submit the others. One 
for every school day, and they found that 100 day student. So that's 100 day students work came out much stronger near the end of the year. Well, yeah, practice makes perfect. Like, I understand that. Definitely. Like, I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with watercolor just from doing it so much, streaming, you know? That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. The 10k reading for cats has prevented me from spamming it. Oh, that's good. I didn't want to constantly disturb the kitties. If it were up to me, it would be a cat stream. No art, just cat. <laughs> I would do 10k to start until you get more comfortable doing it. More often than incrementally lower. I want to do more of them. Yeah. I'm also afraid people just will come up with like kind of crazy ridiculous things and it's just I'm picky about what I like to paint you know we'll see though I guess if it's only like a little sketch thing <laughs> gosh I feel like you can't even see the little shadow I put on there they're so subtle <laughs> That's what makes it fun, dude. You can't have mini discretion. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> I need to keep like sketch paper nearby then. Also, I don't want to use my, my fancy paper. Here. I don't think I'm gonna put a timer on it. Okay, how's that? I remember taking my friends' faces and putting them on Toy Story character bodies. Yeah, see, I can't do that. But alright, it's there. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Give it a chance, I suppose. There need to be just like a tad darker, I think. <laughs> On the Discord now? Oh, your sketch. Okay, I was gonna think the thing I just made? Like, I just made the channel points thing. 
konak. Oh my god. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I don't think I have that in me. <laughs> I think if someone requested that, I'd just be like, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's funny. Toy Story in forever. I'm definitely behind. I don't know all the Toy Stories now. I've fallen behind in Toy Story lore. Still need to put like a background color on this guy. Okay, where's my bigger? There you are. What color are you? Might be a little too dark. More water. That's probably fine. I should have done this. Probably oh, the smudge from the glasses doesn't. Oh, okay. Good to know. Should have probably done this before the shadows, but that's okay. And it'll work out fine. Again, I just don't want the paper to just be white. painting where no one can see me. Oops. Some texture. Ooh. I kicked the light. <laughs> Alright, let that dry. I might go back over some of the shadows. Ooh. Guess I got water on you. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, and then I wanted to make your background like a bluish, I think. I don't know, should I still stick with the bluish? Oh my gosh, should I make it that weird orange color? Maybe a lot lighter. That'd be fun. Oh my gosh, it's so much weight. Pastel orange house, here we come. Oh, I wanted it to be warm. Would definitely be warm. Right, 
pastel orange house. Let's do it. Little Socks is back. Hi, Little Socks. house after this. You guys want to see our bad boy who's being a good boy right now? I'm a little suspicious. He's being a little too good. Did you already be bad? Did you go menace somewhere else that I couldn't see? <laughs> Perhaps. Okay. Here, you guys can see the, the bad boy. There he is, and a sleepy Nimbus. Hi, Socks. What you doing? So we have a Nimbus and a Socks. Bam. Oh, look at that little belly. Don't you want to just go get it? Let me get the belly. Hey, Socks. Boop. <laughs> Bye, Socks. Bye, Nimbus and your toes. drying. Let's bump up some of these. Shadows here. Okay. 
And this guy's still really wet, but the brown part's not. these tiny little things that you're not gonna ever see but I'll know it's there <laughs> You dry some more because I want to uh, shatter to the wall over there too. Just a little darker. No one's gonna know, but I'll know. Someone else get a long weekend? Tricky, it's a long weekend. He's quite excited. I think our biggest plan is to do yard work. <laughs> what needs to happen? Our grass is out of control. Getting warm in here. Almost done though.
You can see it a little better now. Oh, it's almost dry. Here we can add some like fun little like some things. Cause like things that are like stuck out esque, you know, they're never just one flat like surface. They always got like something going on. It gives it like a lot of character. kind of lurking. Thanks for lurking, Beans. I'm almost done. Have a great day. Good luck on the call. Okay, I just want to do under here. There, more windows to add to the window scenes I already have. <laughs> Let's add like little... just flipped that all over the freshly completed uh, paintings. Oh gosh. Alright guys. What do we think? Yeah? Not too shabby. They're pretty cute. I guess I could try to do one from looking in and seeing like oh, something in the inside actually. I do like the idea of a cat. Or maybe like one with shutters on the inside is like a vase with flowers. I don't know. Oh, thanks Summer. <laughs> I'm glad you like. Something chill and cute for today. Add to the window collection. I like how all the weird, like, little textures turned out on the, the building area. <laughs> and the tree doesn't look half bad. It's not, it's not terrible. Definitely different vibes happening here. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I think that's it for today. Just a short little two hour stream. Some watercolors, some chillin'. We got cats today. That was pretty fun. Should we find somebody to raid? I think we should. None of my normal people are on though. Let's see. Uh, we will browse the art category. 
he's doing he's doing things we like hmm there's a lot going on oh this guy's painting like dragons or something Minis illustrations? That sounds cool. Oh, it's digital. I like I like not digital. Hmm. The person we raided yesterday was supremely exhausted. It felt like giving him a pillow. Oh, Oliver? He's always like that. Every time I go to one of his streams, he's just like deadpan. <laughs> he's good though. Is anyone else doing watercolor? Let's try that. Not a lot of people. Who is this person? More ads. People, you gotta disable your pre-rolls. <laughs> Alright, we'll try though. Once we get through the ads. Again, digital, you guys. It's not a watercolor. You lied to me. It's still cool looking, though. All right, we'll do it. All right, let's see. I'm gonna raid someone called Rare Dragons. We'll try it. We'll see how they are. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for painting with me. I will hopefully see you, if not Sunday, then on Tuesday. And have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I will see you next time. Bye.